Come on in, let's talk today. Questions answered every way. Knowledge shared with laugh and play. Oh, dada, una, dada, hey. Hello, beautiful people. Today, I'm going for a little walk and I'm gonna take you along. And I want to talk to you about some vital lessons that I've learned in my life. Because as you know, life is a journey, right? And it's filled with ups and downs. Sometimes we rise, sometimes we fall. And uh, I have learned some vital lessons. Many of them I've shared in my book, No Regrets, Just Lessons. And I selected 10 of them that I'm gonna share with you today as I go on this little stroll and tend to my plants, water, fuel, if I have to. So come along with me and let's have this conversation because, you know, regardless of who we are, what our background is and how we were brought up or where we're coming from, we're gonna have struggles, we're gonna have challenges. But being able to identify and then learn from them, it's gonna set you apart from everyone else. Now, the first lesson on the list is if you don't rule your mind, it will rule you. Our thoughts are powerful, so we must ensure that they are always positive. Your mind is a powerful weapon. Think of it like this. Your thoughts are the seeds and your life is the garden. Plant seeds of doubt, negativity and fear. Well, guess what sprouts up? But if you nurture those seeds with positivity, confidence, and belief, your life blossoms into a masterpiece. Now, I am very deliberate in ruling my mind, and I do so by staying away from negativity, especially online, but also offline. I remind myself with positive affirmations, and whenever I feel a negative thought coming on, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus and I focus on positive thinking. Now the second lesson on the list is your life, your rules. It's so easy to get caught up in what others expect of us, isn't it? But here's the thing, it's your life. You're the director, you're the screenwriter, you are the star of your show. Own the choices that you make, own the mistakes that you make, but also remember to own your victories. Walk your path. It's your life, your errors in judgment, and your lessons. The power to create the life of your dreams, it actually resides with you. Now the third lesson on our list is failure is an excellent source of wisdom. See it for exactly what it is. Reframing failure as a learning opportunity is key to your growth. Failure isn't the end, it's just a detour. Think of it as a GPS recalculating. Do you know how when you get lost, the GPS says at the next left, make a U-turn. The next time you fail, just make a U-turn and do your best to avoid going down that road again. That's how you learn from it. Every setback, every oops is an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to find a new route to your destination. Lesson four is never stop learning. Continuous education is key. You know how they like to say curiosity killed the cat? Well, I like to say curiosity fueled the dreamer. The world is our classroom and everyone that you meet is gonna have something to share regardless of where they're from in life, what their background is. So stay hungry for knowledge in the process. You are never done learning and everyone has wisdom to share. Don't look down on anyone. Stay curious because continuous learning and growth are essential for achieving your goal. Lesson five is that time doesn't last forever. You can only experience a moment in time once. So you know what? You need to make it count. Time is precious. Don't waste it. Imagine you have a bank account where $86,400 is deposited every single day. 
You can't save it. You can't roll it over. You have to spend it all. That's time. Invest it wisely. You will never get back a moment you have lost. So it's important that you value your time and make the most of each opportunity. Lesson six is to choose your passion over your paycheck, or at least make sure that they're aligned because you will live a fuller and happier life. In essence, do what you love. I was blessed to have a career with a job that I absolutely loved for close to 25 years. I may not have loved some of the company decisions that were made while I worked for these organizations, but I loved serving my people and also serving our clients. And I have learned so much from it. I'm very grateful. But nothing beats my own business and doing what I love as I help others to rise and live in abundance. Look, we spend a huge chunk of our lives working. If you're not passionate about it, you're not living. You're just existing. Find your passion or at least find a way to infuse passion into what you do. Finding fulfillment in work is vital for long-term happiness. Lesson seven, always ask for what you want. Ask and it shall be received. I'm sure you have heard the popular saying, ask and you shall receive. This isn't some genie in a bottle trick. It's about having the courage to ask for what you want and also to go after your dreams. The worst thing that can happen is someone say no, right? They can't turn you over on their knee and slap you. Absolutely not. And they cannot send you to the naughty corner. So why do we fear no so much? It's because of our ego. Tone that ego down. Because if you are not hearing plenty of no's, you are not challenging the status quo enough to make a difference. When I got my first major promotion, I got an increase that tripled my existing pay. And for that, I was grateful. But it was not what the person who occupied the role that I was being promoted to was being paid. So it means I would be settling for less than I deserve or they would be undermining me for that position by paying me significantly less than the role actually paid. So I asked for their pay and the benefits. And initially I got no, but let us give you a little bit more and insisted on being paid for my value. Eventually, the answer was yes, and I share this story in details in my book, No Regrets, Just Lessons. But can you imagine where I would be today if I did not ask? Being grateful for the pay raise that tripled my salary was good, but demanding that I be paid what the position was worth and what the person occupying the role previously is earning allowed me to make the kind of money I never thought possible in my lifetime, especially at the tender age of 22. Don't be afraid to go after what you desire or to ask for what you want. Lesson eight, who you were in the past, it's not a determinant of who you'll be in the future. Listen, we all have history, good, bad, and in between. But that's all it is, history. Don't let it hold you hostage. You have the power to write a new chapter, a brighter future. We are all capable of personal growth and change. So stop allowing your past to determine your destiny. Come on in, let's talk today. Questions answered every This is the bush way of cleaning fruits. You bite a piece of it and then you use the inside to clean the fruit before eating it. Mm. Juicy. 
And this is star fruit or jimbilin. Put in the comments what it's called where you live. Lesson nine, forget the things that hurt you, but never forget the lessons that they taught you. Forgive, but don't forget. Pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. Holding on to hurt is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. Just think about that for a moment. Instead, I want you to forgive, heal, but never forget the lessons that you learned when someone hurt you. And lesson 10 is this too shall pass. Tough times, heartbreak, challenges, remember they're not permanent. Like the waves of the ocean, they ebb and they flow. Hold on tight, ride the wave and know that smoother waters are ahead. Time heals almost everything. This too shall pass. So remember, we're not perfect and that's okay. We're gonna make mistakes and that's okay as well. What's key is that we learn from them. And as I say in my book, well, the title for my book is No Regrets, Just Lessons. Until next time, walk good.